everyone and welcome to another video. Today we have been sent three awesome Tonka Climb Over vehicles to play with. I've heard these battery powered vehicles can climb up and over pretty much anything, so I can't wait to give them a go. Up first we have Fire Rescue, which is a really cool looking fire truck. As you can see, when we press this yellow button on the top, the wheels move all on their own. Up next, we have the Rugged Hauler, which is a mean looking truck. And finally, we have Croc Canyon, which doesn't just come with a vehicle, but also includes a terrifying crocodile obstacle for our climb overs to tackle. It looks awesome. I think it's time we got these out of their boxes and tested them out, starting with Fire Rescue. Here's Fire Rescue out of the box, and I think it looks brilliant. It has the big silver grill at the front, and on the side is a ladder. Some strong metal, this huge engine, and a fire service logo. And off it goes! Next up is the Rugged Hula. This looks like a truck that could handle anything. Take a look at that massive grill at the front. There's also this awesome paint job down the side, which has the Tonka logo on it. I think the wheels look really cool on this vehicle. It looks a bit like a monster truck. And finally, we have Croc Canyon. This is the one I was really looking forward to. Whoa, there's a lot of pieces in this box. With a little help from the instructions, let's get building this obstacle. OK, Croc Canyon is complete. Here's the mean looking crocodile and here are the two logs our climb over vehicles will have to rely on to get past it. That looks treacherous. And here's the ranger vehicle we get with it. It's even got a ranger logo on the front. Look at those awesome lights. Now, I think we should see how the ranger handles the pressure of Croc Canyon. Will he make it across or will he fall to his doom? Ooh, it was looking dangerous there for a minute, but the ranger handled Croc Canyon no problem. I think we should try it a few more times. Well, I think it's safe to say that Croc Canyon is no match for the ranger. But let's see how our other vehicles handle the pressure. With ease. These climb over vehicles have no fear. Now, I wonder how they handle our homemade hill. It's pretty steep, but I think these climb over vehicles can do this with no difficulty. Just as I thought, these vehicles can climb over anything in their path. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed these Tonka climb over vehicles as much as I have. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Bye. everyone and welcome to another video. Today we have been sent this brilliant Tonka Steel Bulldozer to play with. This is a part of the Tonka Classics collection and I have to say it looks like a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the back of the box. Here we can see exactly what the bulldozer is designed to do. It looks so realistic. I think we should get this awesome toy out of the box. So here's the bulldozer out of the box. It's actually pretty big. It has the Tonka Toys logo on the side next to the cabin, which is one of my favourite parts of this toy. The wheels actually spin the tracks around, which means this bulldozer can take on any terrain it comes across. It's got these brilliant looking mechanical parts on the side. And if we have a look through the top of the cabin, we can see the seat where the operator would sit. There's also a really realistic looking engine here with an opening at the side. Finally, there's the large plate at the front, which the bulldozer uses to clear anything in its path. This one actually works. If we pull the handle at the front, it lowers the plate, which puts the bulldozer in clearing mode. Let's see how this vehicle drives. It's a pretty smooth drive. Those tracks make light work of tough off-road terrain. I wonder how well this vehicle can clear an obstruction. Here we have
have one very tall tower of building blocks. It's pretty sturdy, but it's no match for the Tonka climb over vehicles. Whoa, what a demolition! Let's see that again. Now that was pretty fun, but we better get this mess cleared away. This calls for one thing, the bulldozer. Here it comes. Whoa, the bulldozer can clear so much at once. This is the perfect job for it. There's only a few boxes remaining now. We should have this cleaned up in no time. Whoa, what a great job that was. We've now got one neat pile of building blocks. Nice work, bulldozer. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we've been sent this brilliant Tonka quarry dump truck to play with. Like all Tonka steel vehicles, this one's built to last with a lifetime of play ahead of it. It looks absolutely awesome in the box. I can't wait to get it out. Let's turn the box around and see what's on the back. Whoa, that's awesome. Here we can see how the quarry dump truck will look in the real world. I can't wait any longer. Let's get out of the box. Now it's out of the box, let's take a closer look at the dump truck. It's got this really cool Tonka construction logo on the door of the cabin and these chunky looking wheels which have the Tonka logo wrapping around the tire. The best thing about the truck is the dumper at the back which actually lifts up. We can put anything we want in here and transport it to anywhere it's needed. I also think the front of the truck looks really cool. Again, there's the Tonka logo on the grill. These two lights either side here and it even has some windscreen wipers on the windows. The detail is amazing. Let's see how this dump truck drives. It looks pretty smooth. Now let's set the dump truck off to move a heavy load. Time to load up the dump truck. Now, let's get this load to its destination. Come on, dump truck. Okay, good work everyone. Now let's unload. Awesome! Now let's bring in another Tonka Steel Classic, the Steel Bulldozer, to help move this load on. And finally, let's fill up the dump truck with more and take it back to the depot. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed the steel dump trucks as much as I have. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we've been sent these awesome Tonka diecast big rigs to play with. These Tonka vehicles are built to last meaning no matter how much we put them through, they'll still keep on driving. Here we have the flatbed crate truck with the three crates along the back. The long haul semi truck with a long solid body to transport cargo. And the flatbed logger truck with five massive logs on the back. Let's get these brilliant vehicles out of the box. Starting with the flatbed crate truck. Next up is the long haul semi truck. And finally it's the flatbed logger truck.
let's take a closer look at the flatbed crate truck. So the crates at the back actually come off, which is really useful when we're playing with it. The whole flatbed section also comes off and has a Tonka logo on it in this really cool blue colour. The cab also looks really realistic. It has two huge exhausts either side and its shiny silver grille at the front. On the side it has two huge engines and of course the wheels actually work so we can drive the truck around. It's time we had a closer look at the long haul semi truck. This is one of my favourites. As with the logger truck the back section comes off. There's four wheels at the back and the awesome design down the side. It looks like it's ready to transport Tonka toys all over the world. There's also a section at the back where we would load in the cargo. The cab on this truck is also really cool. It has another big silver grill at the front and two massive exhausts. And again at the side there are these huge engines. Last but not least is the flatbed logger truck. This flatbed section has room for five logs to be transported wherever they're needed. We can remove the logs and like the crate truck, the Tonka logo is hidden underneath. It has four wheels at the back and also there are these little legs in the middle which means that the flatbed can stand up all on its own. This cab is a really cool red colour which makes the silver grille look awesome. There's also two more massive exhausts, some more big engines on the side and the little tree design which I think makes the logger truck pretty unique. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Pretty good, but it's been a long day. Does anyone know anything fun we could get up to? I've got a great idea. How about we have a race? Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's have a race. Awesome, I'm going to see you guys at the start line. This race is really hotting up. Who knew trucks could go so fast? Here they are, racing past the town now. They're neck and neck. And that's a disaster. Logger truck has taken a tumble, ruling him out of the race. It's down to the crate truck and the long haul semi truck. Aha, I have an idea. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, and the winner is the flatbed crate truck. It's a victory. It's a dirty one to say at the least. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed these Tonka diecast big rigs as much as I have. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye. It looks like the flatbed logger truck has lots of deliveries to make today. You've got lots of logs there. What's that sound I can hear? It's getting louder. Oh no! What a disaster! The crate truck was going in such a rush that it caused an accident. I think we better get on the phone to our friends at the police department and get them to help us out. Hello? Is this the police? Yes, we've had an accident. We need your help, as quick as possible. Thank you. Wow, you guys got here quickly. We've got an accident on our hands. This logging truck was travelling along, minding his own business, when out of nowhere, this crate truck came flying past and knocked him over. Do you think you could help us get everyone back on the road again?
Hmm. Okay. Let's start by getting the logger truck back up on its wheels. I think for this we're going to need some rope. Great. Now, the police vehicle and the police bike can attach their rope to the logger truck and heave it up. Get ready. Three, two, one, pull! Wow, that was good work. Thanks for helping out. Now, we just need to get the logs back on the truck. Does anyone have any good ideas? everyone. You know, we should probably help the freight truck get his cargo back as well. work. Thanks for the help officers. Now everyone can make their deliveries on time. And as for you Mr Crate Truck, you better keep your eyes on the road from now on. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be testing the off-road skills of some Tonka climb over vehicles in real life circumstances. Today we have three vehicles to trial. Croc Canyon, Fire Rescue and Rugged Hauler. We've already unboxed these and tested them inside but today I want to see how they would handle the great outdoors. Test one is going to be seeing their performance going off-road across a huge stretch of grass. We're going to start the toys at the start line here and they will travel forwards to the finish line at the back over there. Okay, without further ado, let's see how these climb over vehicles handle the grass. Three, two, one, go! Wow, they're neck and neck at the start. It looks like Fire Rescue has taken a deep. Certainly he's up competition. It's Rugged Hauler and Croc Canyon neck and neck. Oh, and Rugged Hauler loses it at the finish line. Croc Canyon takes the lead. Wow, that was a lot of fun. These climb over vehicles really handled the grass well. They're perfect off-road vehicles. Now, let's see how they handle some blocks to their path. We've arranged a pile of sticks here and we're going to be seeing how they can climb over them. I think they're going to handle it no problem. Let's go! Up first is our fire engine, who lost the first round, but he handles the sticks with no problems. What a great performance. Up next is the rugged hauler, who lost by a fraction in the last round. Oh, and he's had a nightmare. What a dreadful performance. He showed so much promise in the first round. What a shame. And finally, it's Croc Canyon. He won the first round, and he takes the roadblock in his stride. Awesome! For round two, it was a draw between Croc Canyon and the fire engine, which leaves Croc Canyon still in the lead. That was awesome. These vehicles can handle anything in their path. For our final test, let's see how these vehicles handle our treacherous mountain slope. It's a bit steep, so let's see how our vehicles deal with the nerves. Three, two, one, go! Oh! And the fire truck gets stuck so early in the round. Rugged Hauler and Croc Canyon are neck and neck. Oh, Hauler got stuck, but Croc Canyon wins, making it to the top in style. What a performance. Well, Croc Canyon has won three out of three today. What a vehicle this is. That was a lot of fun. We certainly put these top climb over skills to the test. Thank you for watching. See you next time. 
Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are having a climbing and demolition contest using these Tonka climber vehicles. Our competitors are going to be taking three awesome challenges to test their climbing and demolition skills. Each round will be judged differently depending on the challenge in that round. And now let's meet the judges. Here we have a panel of specialist judges who are going to be scoring today's events. They're looking for skill, prowess and pure awesomeness. Time for round one. In the first round, our vehicles are going to be making their way up this ramp here and seeing who can pull off the most impressive jump. The judges will then score our contestants. Up first is Croc Canyon, looking confident. And that's a brilliant jump rolling over forward and landing back on its wheels. The judges are bound to be impressed with those skills. Now it's the turn of the fire engine. Built strong, this vehicle must fancy its chances. But no, that's a terrible jump. With the fire engine landing on its back and getting stuck with its wheels in the air, that one's gonna hurt in the morning. Finally, we have the rugged hauler, who must be worried now that he's seen the fate of the fire engine. But no, he's done a fantastic job landing back on his wheels with ease, but veering dangerously towards the judges. A great effort, but not the smoothest landing. The judges were taking some time to confer. And so, at the end of round one, Croc Canyon is in the lead. Let's move on to round two. Round two is going to be all about demolition. The rules are simple. Our climb over vehicles are going to be launching themselves at our six construction pipes at the back and we're going to be seeing how many they can take down. The more pipes taken down, the higher the score. Without further ado, let's get on with round two. Up first is the fire engine, who will want to do better than he did in the last round. I really can't see him coming back from this. Now, we have the rugged hauler, who came a close second in the last round. But he also makes a terrible effort failing to knock down any of the pipes. The judges definitely don't look pleased with that one. Finally is Croc Canyon, who must be feeling pretty pleased with his performance so far today. And yet again, Croc Canyon shows his dominance, absolutely annihilating two of the pipes. What a performance. The judges are loving it. That was another exciting round with Croc Canyon taking another point here and securing the win with two rounds in the bag. But it's still all to play for in round three, with second and third place still up for grabs. Round three will be a test of ultimate skill. Our climb over vehicles are going to be seeing who can do the longest wheelie. That's a great demonstration from one of our judges here. Up first is the fire engine. And you couldn't write it. Another poor performance from the fire engine, who'll be taking a long hard look at himself at the end of the day. Next up is the rugged hauler, who must be able to do better than the fire engine. And he absolutely does, proving straight and true with his wheelie. Great performance here. Last is Croc Canyon, who's already won here today, but will want to display his dominance once again. And it's another solid performance from Croc Canyon. So now it's a sudden death round, with Croc Canyon and the Rugged Hauler having a race to take the point for the final round. Oh, and it's a full start from Croc Canyon, with Rugged Hauler racing through and taking the points for the final round. It's only a consolation prize, however, as the winner today was Croc Canyon, who won the first two rounds with ease. Better luck next time, Fire Truck and Rugged Hauler. Thank you to our awesome competitors, our fantastic judges, and to all of you at home for joining us. See you all next time. Our long haul semi truck has lots of important deliveries to make today. Our driver had to wake up pretty early to make sure they all get delivered in time, and he doesn't want anything getting in his way. He's made a couple of successful deliveries, but there's still a lot more to go. Mrs. Jones will be pretty annoyed if she doesn't get her garden furniture in time for her party tonight. Hang on, what's this? It looks like there's a traffic jam. What a nightmare. 
we better see what the problem is. Oh no, it looks like a flatbed crate truck tried to take a corner too quickly and his crates filled with sand have fallen off and blocked the road. This is a complete mess. What are we going to do everyone? The long haul semi truck has to make it to his deliveries on time. Wait a minute, I know just the people to help us out. It's time to bring in the professionals. Brilliant. You two always get here just in time. We've got quite a queue of traffic and it's all been caused by the sand that's in the road. Do you think you could help out? Excellent. So, bulldozer, you're going to scoop up the sand and put it in the back of the dump truck. That's a great idea. We should have this mess dealt with in no time. work you two. Now everyone can get through and make their deliveries on time. Take care on those roads, you never know what you might find. Whoa! It looks like you just joined us at the right time. What you're seeing right now is a police chase. This has been going on for the last few minutes. This police truck is trying to keep up with a stolen truck which is being driven by a dangerous villain. It looks like there's no way this police bike is going to be able to stop the truck on its own. We need a plan, fast. Meanwhile, this police vehicle has radioed around the local area for people willing to help. It looks like some of them are arriving just now. Whoa, that's a good turnout. Now, what's the plan? I see. You think I should come up with a plan? Okay, well, the truck is heading towards a fork in the road where it can either go through the canyon or keep going on flat land. Crate truck, if you block the road to the only way through the canyon, we could catch the crook. Off you go, quick! Great work. Getaway truck should be here any time now. Brilliant! Our plan is working. They're heading towards the canyon. Now, climb over. We need you to tow the flatbed logger truck up the steep slope to the top of the canyon, where you can unload all the logs into the path of the getaway truck. Go, go, go! Our plan worked. Well done everyone. Now we can bring this crook to justice. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we have been sent these two brilliant Tonka Diecast first responder vehicles to play with. As with all Tonka Diecast vehicles, these strong vehicles are built to last. It looks like we have the police motorcycle and the police car. Now let's take a look at the back of the box. We can see some more of the collection here. There's the motorcycle and the car, and it looks like there's an ambulance we can get as well. I think we've waited long enough. Let's get these awesome toys out of their boxes. And here they are out of their box. Let's take a closer look at the police motorcycle. It's got this brilliant checkered police print which runs all the way along the vehicle. 
Here's a space for the rider to sit and a really realistic looking engine. It's also got some really cool silver handles. Nino, Nino, Nino. Now let's take a closer look at the police car. Again, this car has the chequered police print along the body, but it also has some really cool lights on the top, so the police can alert fellow drivers of their presence. It has some more emergency print on the back, as well as four exhaust pipes. This car must go at some speed. On the front it says police, and it also has a really cool grill. Nino, Nino, Nino. Hello officers, we have an urgent cold rat. We need you on the scene immediately. Oh no, it sounds like there's an emergency. Officers, you better hop to it right away. We have officers en route. I'll be with you shortly. You join us now in the police helicopter where we can get a bird's eye view of the action. Nice work, officers. You made it to the scene just in time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. These Tonka first responders are awesome. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.